Hey, what's going on? This is Kevin Rempel, 2014 Paralympic bronze medalist in sledge hockey, speaking to you today about chapter four of my book, repping one of my favorite websites ever right now is uh, Shock Mansion. Uh, they featured me on their site a couple years ago, and just want to say thanks to those guys. They've sent me some clothing, and I got some of my own. I just bought it the other day. Actually, no, truthfully, I bought it like at Christmas time, but it uh, feels like it's yesterday. I just keep loving and wearing this stuff because uh, they got a bomb site, so thank you guys. Going into my book, uh, chapter four is about my years in construction. Uh, I was in masonry, building houses. I started out building chimneys in Grimsby, and uh, then I got onto job sites. I did schools and I did uh, concrete walkways, and then I got into subdivisions doing houses. And uh, learning a trade was a, a very valuable experience and time of my life, which I didn't realize at the time, but uh, later turned into be one of the greatest assets that I feel like I've. I've earned in my life and uh, so writing about this chapter what was easy is great memories to go back on like the first day on the job showing up and tipping the wheelbarrow instantly uh, so I had to pick up my mess I only got about five more feet and then I tipped it over again and I remember thinking to myself what the heck am I doing here like I hate this job and I want to leave but uh, one of the things my dad instilled on me was to not quit and I stuck with it I'm glad I did because learning the skill, the trade, and uh, lots of lessons along the way later helped me a lot in life. Just being able to um, fix my hockey sled, uh, fix my own house, do some minor repairs, do side jobs for other people, and that ended up putting some cash in my pocket. What was really hard about writing this chapter, uh, similar to the past one a bit, was just setting up the story as I set it up for like the rest of the book. I I love the, the construction part, but I had to go through a process again of like, why am I telling you this? Uh, why do you need to hear about this part of my life? And uh, after I just worked through it for a while, it, it took me about three hours to write this chapter as opposed to the normal two hours. Uh, the lesson that I have to take away is one, um, going through the process as a, child, as a teenager is that when you learn a skill or a trade, whether it be a hands-on one or maybe even a computer skill, uh, maybe it's a negotiating skill or a networking skill, like whatever your skill is as a person, um, I experienced personally as, as a trade skill, is that something that you can take with you anywhere in life. And it's much needed, especially uh, doing construction, like plumbing and electricians, uh, the bricklayers, you know, I feel like at that, I felt like at the time, I think still now you could quit your job or be fired and just turn around and go to the next guy and say, I have this skill, uh, can I have a job? So I'm proud that uh, I've got that under my belt. Um, I also learned a lot to just use my network, which was uh, after doing this and being on job sites, you meet different people and you know then you can bounce around. Like uh, My brick lane took me to different places, different cities. and. And some of that turned into relationships, which were friendships, and then some even were like business relationships. And uh, through being challenged, like I was on a site where I was in a new environment and working harder than I was used to, that's where you develop a lot of your character and also your work ethic. So when I first got to the job site, or if you're showing up on a new job and, and you're being challenged, you might think, what am I doing here? Screw this, I don't wanna be here. But uh, by sticking with it, it will pay dividends in the long run. And that's what I enjoy the most about that memory. So something to consider as uh, you're working on your own deal and what uh, I got written in this one. So coming at you soon, chapter five next will be, I'm not even gonna tell you what's gonna be next. I'll just show you in the video, but uh, things are going really well. Love writing and I can't wait to show you the product. Thanks for the comments on the videos so far and I will talk to you soon.